Hi lovely people, it has been another week and another fairly frantic amount of makeup releases. So let's get straight into it. Um, one of the first things that was announced this week, we had a sneak peek of it last week and I didn't include it because it was just the outside of the palette and I was like, oh, there's no point in me speculating on this, although I already liked it from the outside of the palette. Sugar Pill have uh, released a new fun size palette um, for $28. It's already available. It was released on the 13th of August. It is this really cute nine pan palette with really pastel shades and it's all video game themed. I bought it. I, bought, I was probably going to buy it just because there was a cat on the cover anyways, but I think it's really, really cool. And I've always wanted to buy something from Sugar Pill anyways. So it's just nice to see something really fun and vibrant in their collection. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, Beauty Bar Baby, we've talked about them a lot. They seem to come out with an awful lot of things. They have added some new galaxy flakes and new shades of their Magic Wand pressed multi-chromatic shadows. So multi-chrome shadows are just, it seems to be that there's a new release every single week. Um, I won't be getting any of those because I have plenty as it is and you're going to see I've got like I mean we already started on something I've already bought for myself so you know it's it, it's been a hectic week. Uh, Sparrow Cosmetics you might remember that they were the ones who were doing the very um, true blood vampire themed stuff. Well they've uh, collaborated with uh, Twisted Wonderland Perfumery and they've decided to come up with a vampire inspired lipstick and perfume duo. Um, so I think that's quite interesting. I've never really heard of like a, a duo that has been lipstick and perfume. So I mean that's interesting. Not for me but there you go. Elf Cosmetics um, have come out with uh, new eyeshadow palettes. Um, they have um, an earth and ocean palette and it includes 18 shades which are shimmery and uh, matte formulas. They haven't announced a day as to when it's actually going to be released but they said um, that it is $14 and will be available on the Elf Cosmetics site. Not really for me. I have enough of those green, yellow, blue tones and that doesn't call to me and I don't really I don't know enough about the elf formula to invest in it you know if I could swatch it and check it out but it's not as easily available here in Ireland as it would be in the United States um so I saw this picture and I instantly thought Milani Cosmetics um but it isn't. It's it's a, a brand called Ilia Beauty and they've launched a, a few new products. So they've come out with um, two eyeshadow palettes that they've called the Necessary Eyeshadow Palette. And I was watching Beauty News Official and they were going through, um, you know, the releases during the week and they had such a laugh over the whole the necessary uh, aspect of things. I have to agree with them. It's, it's bizarre. Yeah, so they have them in the shades Warm Nude and Cool Nude. And I think, I think if you know me, you're going to know what I'm going to say here. And it's, this is about 15 years too late. They are so late to the game. You know, you have to really do something very interesting and innovative to, to stand out now in the makeup game. There's so much, like there is so much. You see this, like in the this video series that there's like 50 or so releases a week. So you have to do something that really stands out and this is just fading into the background. So, you know, in addition to their eyeshadow palette, they've also come out with Clean Line Gel Eyeliner for $26 in the shades uh, Twilight, which is a black, and Dusk, which is a brown. So nothing new or wildly interesting there. And uh, they also have Clean Line Liquid Eyeliner in Midnight Express, which is uh, a black for $26. And they're apparently available already for purchase in Sephora. Um, so yeah, I mean, that clearly, that was not made for me. And uh, moving on. So Marc Jacobs, who is, I've never actually tried anything from Marc Jacobs, but I know the, that Samantha March is a big fan of his lipstick formulas. So I've always been a little bit interested in checking that out, but they have come out and please don't hate me. This is their holiday release. Yeah, holiday release. It's August and they're talking about holidays. You, I, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about more holiday releases, but this is kind of, this is already available. They have, it's their Glam Rock collection. 
Uh, and I can see it in 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 the products that they have. It does look very glam rocky. They have a enamored dazzling gloss lip lacquer for twenty eight dollars, and they're in four different shades. One is a lavender mauve with pink glitter. One is a cool pink with blue glitter. Another is toasted champagne with gold glitter, and one is fiery rose with pink glitter. Now I love glitter but I don't think I could deal with it in a lip gloss. And if a lip gloss has any staying power, it's usually very sticky and uncomfortable. So yeah, <laughs> not for me, not for me. They are also coming out with the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer uh, in the shade uh, Showstopper, which is a soft peachy pink, and that's $49. So I think, I think that's a highlighter, it seems to be. Um, I mean, I like a highlighter, but $49 is an awful lot. And I even just bought some new loose um, highlighters from Juvia's Place. And they're really pretty. And I got them for like $8. So, well, maybe not $8. Maybe like $12 or something like that. Because there's a sale. So, that just seems like an awful lot. Um, they also have the Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow for $28 in four different shades. One is a pinky mauve, one is gunmetal silver, one is black and plum and one is rosy copper. It's super expensive and if I want a glitter, gl glittery eyeshadow I will go towards Colourpop because they are affordable. It's not like you use a glitter eyeshadow all the time anyway so $26 is a lot to pay and if they were really innovative interesting colours then fair enough but they aren't. And speaking of Colourpop we didn't hear a lot from them last week. They kind of took a break and we were all worried. We were all like what's happening? Colourpop you okay? What's happening? So they have come out with a new rainbow collection and it's funny because there just is this theme of, of rainbow. You know we had Viseart, not Viseart, no Viseart is annoyingly bo boring. We had Violet Voss and Lime Crime, I think it was last week, coming out with those colourful rainbow palettes and then we had Sugar Pill coming out with that cute little nine pan palette and now we have Colourpop and they're coming out with a 24 pan rainbow palette and in fairness it does look really really pretty. Um, they say that they have um, different single eyeshadows with different finishes and seven brand new press powder shadows in the shades. Worth it, looking fresh, hold me down, no scrubs, brick road, hard place and uh, bright tempo. I'm really interested in this, like I really that's speaking to me. And the swatches look beautiful. Like they do just look really, really, really nice. In addition to that, they are also coming out with uh, the Rainbow Road Foursome for $20. And that's uh, a mixture of Super Shock and Jelly Much shadows in the shades uh, Origami, No Rest, Fizz and Shy Guy. I'm not as interested in those. So I would pass on those. Um, they have as well, they have also collaborated with Fort Fourth Ray Beauty, which is of course their sister company, and they've come out with the Head in the Clouds Rainbow Milk Set. So that seems to be some like milk sets in various colours. Don't know exactly what it is that they're going to do. That's not really my thing. They also have the um, Colour Me Happy BFF Volumizing Mascara for $40. No, that's not for one mascara. They have five different colours. Um, and they have an over chromatic BFF cream gel liner. Uh, the bundle is $20 and that includes uh, one, two, three, four, five different shades. I'm interested in that. I think that looks like a lot of fun. So between that and the eyeshadow palette, I really want to get the two of those. Um, and they also have the Mad About Hue brush bundle for $20, which includes five brushes. I don't know a huge amount about Colourpop in terms of their brush collections, if they're any good. But I, I think I'll be passing on that. That's currently available. Um, so yeah, maybe next payday I'll get it. Menagerie Cosmetics have come out with quite a few things um, this month. They outlined that they are uh, releasing some camouflage concealers and some setting powders, which is going to be launching this month, i.e. August. 
They are going to have 20 concealer shades for $22 each, which is pretty decent, and seven powder shades for $20 each. And in addition to that, they've also come out with some new Luminosity Hydro Gels, and they look really, really pretty. Um, I've never seen them kind of do anything like that before, so it's definitely them coming out of their box, but at the same time, I have stuff like that already, so I won't I won't be going for that. Um, Smashbox Cosmetics have come out with two new eyeshadow palettes. Um, so they're $29 each. They're those um, cover shop palettes. So they've come out in two different designs. One is denim, which is meant to be this versatile neutrals with uh, cool blues, which are inspired by denim and the other one is desert which is warm earthy shades that evoke the California desert. N neither of these are interesting to me but even if they were I would be very dubious because I haven't heard anything wildly positive about their cover shop palette eyeshadow formula and I've tried the Smashbox eyeshadow formula and I actually got rid of them and I'm not one to really get rid of things because I'm in horrific makeup order but yeah it wasn't for me so I wouldn't even if it was interesting to me I wouldn't get it just I'd be frightened too. Um, so Fresh Beauty have collaborated with Ingrid Nilsson and they've come out with a, a Sugar in the City Blackberry Tint Lip Balm which has an SPF of 15 and it is limited edition. They claim that the balm offers 24 hour moisture and sun protection uh, for your lips. It has a buildable colour which goes on with a hint of colour and can be layered to create a richer hue. It's infused with nourishing oils and moisture preserving sugar to, to deliver all day hydration for soft lips lips um I I don't I don't know I think I think fresh beauty are sold on cult beauty um it is limited edition and it's selling for $24 that's a lot for a, a lip balm um I I don't think I'll I'll get it even though I, I I really want to get more things for my lips but that's just really expensive and if it's limited edition I I just feel maybe they don't put as much effort into it I'm like if it's really good would you not make it permanent no? Okay. Uh, so not for me. Um, Ruby May Cosmetics um, have come out with some holographic pigment stacks and they are available now. So they seem to be in some very pastel shades. They look really, really pretty, um, but I'm not in the market for, for holographic pigments. I'm I'm okay for that, but they, they do look nice. Um, MAC Cosmetics have uh, launched a new Studio Fix Matte Foundation Stick. Um, they claim that it's a multitasking foundation stick that perfects skin tone, contours, curves, and highlights features, all with a matte finish. It has an achievable, buildable, medium coverage with this ultra blendable formula for a natural shine free finish that lasts for 24 hours it says it's instantly hydrating it won't cake streak crease or settle into fine lines and it will be available for $31 um I don't really have many stick foundations I have one I have the hourglass one and I need to play with that a little bit more but I was looking at the shade range of this and it doesn't look fantastic for the darker skin tones um, and also MAC Cosmetics are not cruelty free as far as I know so if that's something that you're considering just FYI you know um, they've also given more sneak peeks for their holiday collection um, so again they're going with that whole stars and glitter theme they have lipstick sets and they said that there's going to be two collections apparently as they do every year um yeah this isn't interesting to me i'm not a fan of the their lipstick formula it feels very drying for me um even though i know it seems to be like a favorite among a lot of people but i'm just i'm not very interested um so last week we had talked about quick flick and their stuff kaja beauty has come out with what i feel is almost like a dupe for that it isn't because it's just as expensive. So I'm a bit confused. Um, it is their perfect cat eye wink stamp. So it has this wing eyeliner stamp and a pen for apparently a flawless flick in seconds. Just stamp, line, repeat and wink. Um, and it's $25 and it includes an eyeliner pen in black and a wink stamp pen which is double ended right and left. So that seems very similar to the quick flick for me. So... 
I don't know, it's available already. It was made available on the 15th of August. I won't be getting that. It's it's it it's not for me. This is already available, by the way. I was on Beauty Bay um as I as I am when passing time and I saw that these were made available. It's Beauty Bay's own um their own makeup line and they have introduced uh, these liquid crystals. So they they call them their Living My Best Lights liquid crystals and they say it's a long lasting creamy formula can be used alone as a sparkly shade or used over a shadow for a killer metallic finish. So I think it's almost meant to be a sort of um, a, a cheaper dupe for Stila um, because they're only six pounds. The Beauty Bay ones, not the Stila. It'll be amazing if Stila were six pounds. Um, so they have them in six different colours. Um, I I don't know. I want to see what people think because yes, six pounds is cheap, but you know it could still be a waste if it's no good in the end. Um, so next thing that came up was that Vanessa's Vanity, so that's an indie uh, cosmetics brand, they have uh, made two new eyeshadow available, uh, two new eyeshadow shades available. Uh, so one is Blueberry Twist and the other one is Samba. So Blueberry Twist is a blue sort of um, uh, it almost looks like it's a multi-chrome. I'm assuming that these are both multi-chromes because it looks like it from the swatches. And the blueberry twist, which you would think because it's called a blueberry twist that it would be like blue and purple, but it seems to be more bluey greeny. And then Samba is this kind of gold green pink shade. Um, I don't know anything about Vanessa's van Vanity or what they're like, but I think those shades are really pretty. I'm just not in the market to get any more. Lethal Cosmetics has had a fairly busy week because they announced a couple of new different single eyeshadow shades. So the first one they announced was a shade called Metallic Lavender, which is exactly as the name would suggest. It's this metallic lavender shimmer sort of a shadow and it looks really pretty. They then, a few days later, then went, hey, we have another shade, uh, it's called Crossroads and it's a pastel matte pink. And then the last shade they announced, I think it was yesterday, um, is the shade Terminus, which is this sort of a raspberry matte, which I'm like, that looks really, really pretty. But in addition to them announcing that, they said, so this shade Terminus is coming out with our next collection. Um, so it seems that they are giving a couple of new bundles. We're going to see more and more releases from Lethal Cosmetics. So I like that because if I am to get something from them, I don't want to get end up, you know, buying very few shades. I want to make a whole palette out of it. And if I can make a whole palette out of new shades that I haven't got, because I have quite a few Lethal Cosmetics, that would be that would be very interesting for me. Yeah. So I think I think I might get that. Um, Juno Co, which are really known for their little um, um, beauty sponges, like their makeup sponges, they are coming out with their very first complexion collection product. So they have their Juno Blur Setting Powder. They claim it will give you no caking, no creasing and no flashback. And they said that the formula helps to blur out pores and imperfections, leaving the no filter needed soft focus finish. I am personally not that really bothered about pores. I'm like, I'm a human being. Of course I have pores. Whether, if they could get rid of lines, that would be amazing. But not really for me. But they're also coming out with a Juno Babe brush collection, which they say are soft, synthetic and fierce. And they launched yesterday on August the 15th on their website. Um, not really interesting to me. I have loads of setting uh, powders, etc. Like I, I don't need any more. M Cosmetics, E-M-M-E Cosmetics, because we always have to differentiate, they've released um, a, kind of a sneak peek at their new Butterfly Love Palette. Um, and that is actually going to be launching on Monday. So by the time I manage to get this uploaded, it should be available. It is um, uh, going to be available from 
5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for 55 Canadian dollars or 41 US dollars. And it is, of course, cruelty and uh, cruelty free and vegan. Um, I really like the M Cosmetics formula. I got a, uh, an eyeshadow palette from them before and I really enjoyed it. But none of the colors from this are interesting to me and it seems to be an entirely metallic palette. So not quite for me, but you know, I would recommend them in general. And I am still looking at their, their glitter shadows. I'm like, they look so pretty. I want them all. I literally want them all. Like I do. Like that's just how it is. Um, Sunflower Glow Cosmetics, who I've never heard of, have uh, come out with uh, five new shades of their non-sticky lip toppers. Now they say they're non-sticky. I'm not saying they're non-sticky. I've never tried them. I, I don't know what they're like. Um, they seem to be very wearable shades, like there's corals, a kind of a clear shade and more nudie browns and there's a red in there, but it looks to be a fairly wearable red. Um, I wouldn't, I'm not really into lip toppers, that's not my thing, but you know, to each their own, I guess. Yeah, um, so yeah, I'll be passing on that. Physicians Formula basically went bananas during the week and they were like, hey, we're, we have an, an organic wear collection. And they had this whole tagline of saying, oh, you know, our, our stuff is designed to promote a healthy radiant complexion. Organic wear uses natural and clean ingredients like antioxidant fruit extracts, organic jojoba oil, organic rosehip oil, organic uh, chamomile. Are you seeing the theme? It's all organic. Organic aloe water, botanical cactus flower. I'm surprised it isn't organic botanical cactus flower. And more to provide an extra boost to skin. And they've just come out with so much. They have a silk foundation elixir that's in 12 shades for $15.99 US dollars. By the way, all of the prices I'm listing are US dollars for Physicians Formula right now. A mineral primer for $15.99, a sculpting bronzer in two shades, mocha and toffee for $11.99, a dewy highlighter in two shades in dew frost and honeydew for $11.99, a dewy blush elixir for $13.49 in four, no, four, five, six, yeah, four, four shades. Sorry, I got overexcited. So they have their dewy blush elixir in four different shades in pink berry, gorgeous peach, apricot glow and crushed berries. Um, they also have a nutrient mist facial spray for $16.99, lip treatment for $8.49. I might be interested in that because like, like I said, I am looking for lip stuff because, you know, I'm Irish and the weather is not very kind on skin. Um, lip polish for $10.49, nourishing lipstick for $9.49, uh, $9 and that's in six different shades, buttercup, desert rose, spice, sugar plum, goji berry, and raspberry crush. Uh, they also have a tinted lip treatment for $9.49, and that is in five different shades, tawny nude, berry me, uh, Love Bite, Ginger Snap and Tickled Pink. They have Precision Liquid Eyeliner for $12.49 in the shades Black and Brown. A natu Natural Origin Mascara, I know it's still going, for $10.49. Lash Boosting Mascara for $10.49. Fake Out Mascara for $10.49. That's a lot. Um, as in, that's a lot of stuff, not the price. Um, brow gel for $12.49 in the shades clear, soft black, soft brown, and soft taupe. A double cleansing oil for $13.99. A purifying, is it purifying cleansing stick for $13.99. Bright booster oil for $15.99. And lifting and glowing mask for $15.99. And breathe. They are now apparently available on Physicians Formula. I know they're also, like Physicians Formula also stocks to Feel Unique, uh, which ships to the UK and Ireland. So if that's something you're interested in, you could maybe get it there. The only thing I'm maybe interested in is that lip treatment. So if it comes to Feel Unique, I might pop that into a basket along with a few other things. But other than that, I'm like, meh, nothing, nothing is interesting for me. Um, when I saw this eyeshadow palette, the first thing I thought of was Ardell. Yes, Ardell lashes because they've done like an eyeshadow palette before and whatever it was about this, it reminded me of that. I think it was like the layout, the general color scheme. So this is Alluring Cosmetics and they say that this is their new Alluring Book of Spells palette and it's going to be available from um, oh well, available for pre-order from the 16th to the 18th of August. So it's currently available and should be still available by the time I get this video up because uploading speeds are horrific. Nothing interesting here. It is a warm 
palette with some pops of blue slash purple. Yeah, I mean I have all those shades, so it's not yeah, I'm not I'm not getting that. Um Mur uh, no, not Murad. It looked like Murad. Tom Ford have launched a new skincare line. So we know it's gonna be super expensive. Uh, uh, the skincare line is called Tom Ford Research. So I suppose if you're gonna pay that much money for it, you'd want him to research. So the first thing he has is a serum concentrate for, now wait for it, $350. Huh? Huh? Like that is so much money. And here's what they say about it. A luxurious, potent serum that absorbs instantly into skin to visibly enhance texture, tone and luminosity. The serum concentrate immediately jumpstarts tired looking skin, helping it to absorb and retain moisture. The appearance of pores, lines and wrinkles is diminished, while skin's healthy radiance and visible resiliency are renewed. They wouldn't just want to diminish the appearance of pores and lines, they would want to get rid of all of them. All of them for $350. That is insane! And now I pay a lot for makeup, like I do, I buy like a ridiculous amount. $350. Holy! Like I use uh, the Pixie Serum and that's about maybe 20, 26 pounds. That. Uh, <laughs> there are no words. And if you thought that was bad, right, they have a cream concentrate for $450. That's more than most people make in a week. That's like insane to me. Like I don't make $450 in a week. Like that's how I, huh, who's buying this? I mean, I know Tom Ford is known to just be like, oh, my stuff isn't for people who don't have money. So, you know, I purposefully make it more expensive so poorer people can't, or not even poorer people, so the average person can't buy it because I need it to be like elite or something. And I'm like, oh, that's gross. It's just ugh, whatever. But this cream concentrate for, remember, $450 says it's a hydrating, ultra rich cream that feels feather light on skin. It cocoons. It cocoons dehydrated skin with an immediate sense of comfort. It would want to comfort you after $450. The cream melts into skin, infusing it with luminosity and radiance for an energised appearance. Skin is recharged and visibly renewed, while the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles is diminished. We've talked about this needs to be more than diminished for $450. It needs for $450 to be able to fix my entire face and look after the house. Like, I mean, clean it, wash all the dishes, take care of the pets. <laughs> like, that that's just insane to me. Obviously, I'm not getting that. I don't have that much money. And even if I did, I would not spend it on that. That seems ridiculous to me. Like, just ridiculous. Um, Cover FX, um, which are available, I think, with Beauty Bay, have released a new setting powder. Everyone's all about the setting powders and the foundations these days. Um, so they say that they have an illuminating setting powder. They say it's weightless, loose powder, extends makeup wear without setting into fine lines and acts as a luminous filter for the face. They say that it's a skin-loving formula, which is enriched with green tea leaves and vitamin C, E and F to soothe skin and to help protect against free radicals. And they say that it's recommended for all skin types. The fact that there's some vitamin see in there I don't know how potent that would be because vitamin C has to be stored in a really particular way and you can't have light get it at it or it diminishes so they may have such a low grade amount of vitamin C that yeah I, d I don't know um so they have it in the shades light which is a shimmering champagne and deep which is a shimmering bronze and it's available for 35 US dollars at the moment. I mean, I'm not getting it. Like I said before, I have enough of that sort of thing. Um, Chaos Cosmetics have given a sneak peek of their color morphing gel for eyes and face. Um, and this is, I, I'm gonna show you swatches here, and that is of one shade. That's of one shade. So it seems to almost shift as you move. It looks really, really interesting. 
I, I, I am intrigued. I am intrigued. Um, so yeah, I've got to keep an eye out on that. Um, BH Cosmetics have done more with their Zodiac line, which I had managed to forget existed because it is the most boring thing in the world. So for those of you who are Virgo, I am sorry, but this is what you've been given. That's what they think encapsulates your star sign. It is nudes, 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 nudes. Oh, a little bit of a grey blue and a sort of a goldy yellow. And that's it. I like. I saw this and I was like, why are they re-releasing one that they've done before? Because it looks exactly the same. It's. They say it's a colour shadow and highlighter pan, uh, a mix of warm precious metal and jewel tone hues. Where are the jewel tones? Are we looking at the same thing? And they say that they have matte and shimmer finishes for $14. I would not pay $14 for that. That is boring as hell. No thank you, not for me. Now, a while ago, Urban Decay had um, got the, the rights for the name, like, Naked Honey. Yeah, so, Everyone was kind of like, what could that be? And of course, then we got distracted because Colourpop came out with their Aha uh -huh Honey palette, which was like beautiful and I still love this. So they dropped this Urban Decay Naked Honey palette and we now see what it looks like. It's going to be available September 13th. It is the standard nude palette with a tiny bit of a yellowy gold. That is the only thing that hints that it's slightly honey-ish. It just looks like they have used all, quite a few of their previous shades from the Naked line and just kind of went, that'll do. Boom. Yeah, I mean, it's not for me, obviously. Yeah, I'm, no. <laughs> um, Too Faced um, have done a lot this week. They have um, announced that they're going to drop the Pam Springs Dreams palette uh, quite soon. Uh, it's a mix of warm shades, matte and shimmery finishes. Boring as hell. No. And it looks so much like that gingerbread spice palette, you know, the, the new one that they came out which was more boring than the one that came out last year. It looks like that. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. So obviously not for me. Um, they also have expanded their Tutti Frutti collection. Um, and I saw this and I was like, I thought they had already done this, but I think they had provided a sneak peek so long ago that I thought it had been and gone, but no, apparently not. So they have this watermelon slice face and eye palette for 42 US dollars. God forgive me, but it looks like something from Claire's accessories. Like it looks childish. I like, and I love a bit of fun and you know, joie de vivre, but like I'm 29 and I can't be going around with eyeshadows that look like they were formulated for a nine year old. Like it doesn't, it doesn't look very chic or very interesting and even the swatches are just like eh. like I can see sort of the watermelon thing but yeah not for me they also have a juicy fruits watermelon candy finish lip uh, for 20 US dollars in the shades a melon reasons which is a nude peachy pink mega melons which is a rose pink and bump and rind which is a bright coral pink Again, I have enough lip stuff. A watermelon hangover three-in-one replenishing primer and setting spray for $32. That I'm kind of interested in because I like watermelon and the smell of that would be really nice. And it's nice to have like a scented setting spray. Um, and they also have... <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like every time they ever release a collection, it's like, and here's our Better Than Sex Mascara. And they've done it again. They're like, we have a special edition Better Than Sex Mascara for $25. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> they can't release something without also going, but remember our mascara. I'm like, well, didn't you release that new thing? Was it the damn girl or something? Are you not trying to like promote that? Or are you just like, did that not do that well? I don't know. Uh, so they're gonna be available uh, on Too Faced's uh, website on the 18th of August. I'm not gonna get any of that. 
maybe the setting spray, but like only if it comes to like Debenhams or something. Um, Hysteria, Hysteria Cosmetics came out with a new Nike palette. Yeah, that's how it's pronounced. That's how I think it's pronounced. It's available for pre-order for $48 and it's like one of those, you know, hairless cats on the <laughs> on the outside of the palette, which is kind of funny. Like I I enjoy that. But then the inside of the palette is so boring. Oh, no, not for me. Not for me. Like I really wanted to like it and then it was like yeah, it wasn't a thing then. Um, okay, so I saw this and I thought it, what did it, was it that I thought that it was? I, I thought this was, well, the, I thought a few different things. A couple of months ago, Machino did a, like, school retro collection and their eyeshadow palette was you know the shape of a laptop and they had all of these brushes that were in the shapes of pens and there were highlighters and bits and pieces like that that were shaped like actual highlighters. I think what this reminded me of was a little bit of the Violet Voss Flamingo palette and and the mixture between that and the the Machino collection. So Sugar Rush which it's basically a sister company to Tarte Cosmetics have launched their fall 2019 collection and they've called it their class is in session collection. It's their back to school thing. And I think they have made this for younger people. It, it does seem to be like a teen tween type thing. So they have their goals, goals, goals eyeshadow palette for $27. Um, yeah, I I mean, it's not bad for $27. It's, I mean, I can see teenagers being interested in it. I'm not a teenager, obvi. Um, so not for me. They have their A plus brushes eyeshadow brush set for $19. Eh. Whipped gleam highlighter for $19. That looks quite nice. And sparkle shadow sticks for $19 in the shades bronze, gold, silver, and rose gold. Um, th those aren't for me, but they are all available now on Tarte Cosmetics. Um, Asgard Queen Cosmetics, we, we've heard a lot from them in the last couple of weeks. They have released some new multi-chrome eyeshadows because, like I said, everyone's doing multi-chrome. Um, and again, they've given that lovely promo picture with the, the wood and the, you know, general lovely feel of it. And the swatches do look really pretty. Um, but I have enough of the multi-chromes for a moment. I think I'm getting a little bit of multi-chrome burnout at this point. Um... Benefit Cosmetics have come out with a new boying cakeless concealer, which is interesting on a uh, on a couple of levels because I remember the the boying concealer and it was in like a pot, but they seem to have changed it so that it has like a doe foot applicator, which I think is very smart. However, Benefit has a tendency. To forget that there are people with different skin tones and if you look at the concealer range there's very little for darker skin very very little um it doesn't look great and that makes sense when they say that they have 12 shades 12 12 shades of concealer that's insane um like they're a big company it's not like they're an indie company and don't have the resources they could come out with a bigger line and they should um they're available for 22 dollars um yeah i'm not i'm not getting that it's not not for me um K kristen lee cosmetics had kind of given a sneak peek of one of her uh, glitter gels last week and i didn't decide to include it because i was like oh that's one there, there's no point but she's given uh, a sneak peek now at six and she said that there's going to be 13 shades in total they look really pretty i'm really interested in the in the shade that is on the bottom right hand corner it's like it's green color anyone surprised I really want green <laughs> that's all I want um yeah I'm gonna keep an eye out on that and see how that goes um Maybelline have uh, come out with a new collection it's the city heat collection and it contains six uh, NYC inspired warm nude shades and you can definitely see when you're looking at the swatches there there is that definite warm nude um 
and they're generally very affordable and they're apparently already available in Asian markets so I don't know if they're in Europe yet or what the story is so if you want a nice warm nude lipstick that might be the way to go um Shiseido have jumped onto the whole foundation train because everyone's doing foundation these days they have come out with a synchro skin self-refreshing foundation with an SPF of 30 they say it's a weightless foundation that synchronizes with skin and self-refreshes non-stop for a just applied look and flawless finish it says it has medium coverage with a natural finish in 16 shades for $47 each you know what I'm going to say 16 shades and if you're looking at the swatches it looks sad no do better, she'd say, though. Do better. Uh, they also have a Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Concealer. That's available in 16 shades for $31. Same comment applies. A uh, Hanta Subub... How do I pronounce this? A Hanta Subaki Hake Polishing Face Brush. I got there in the end. Which is a four-petal face brush that is uniquely designed to contour uh, the face and buff skin to give a polished finish for $49. That's super expensive. And a skin, a synchro skin, invisible skin loose powder for $38. And they say it's going to be coming soon, so no exact date yet. I'm not interested in any of that. Uh, Touch of Glam Beauty have offered a sneak peek of their new um, color shifting glitters which looks really really interesting and all they've said is that they're coming soon so we have no exact date on those but I'm interested and I like Touch of Glam Beauty so that's definitely that's caught my attention. Love Lux Beauty have given a full reveal now of their pastel uh, princess palette because they've kind of been sneaking that for the last week or two and I decided I wasn't going to show it until I had all of it. Um, so it's yeah it's definitely it's very pastel what is interesting is it's 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 a lot of shimmers. It's a lot of shimmers and there is the obligatory black colour in there. Um, the, the swatches do look nice but again it is primarily a shimmer palette so not for me. Not from you? Not for me. Um, Beauty Bakery have also announced, sorry I have a cat next to me and she's like showing me her belly so I need to cuddle her. Um, Beauty Bakery have also announced that they're coming out with a baking spray makeup setting mist. Um, so they're available I know on Cult Beauty and they're also available um, with Boots in Ireland and the UK. Um, I don't need any more setting mists and if I am going to get one I want something that has a scent so I can be really fancy. Um, so yeah that's that. Um, MDNA Skin which I don't really know a lot about, have come out with a new product, which is the Body Glow. They say it's an anti-gravity body cream. I could do with that. Um, with triple hyaluronic acid complex and crushed pearls, it says that it helps visibly hydrate, firm, illuminate, um, and it says that it's a deeply nourishing treatment that leaves visibly, uh, that oh sorry, that helps visibly blur imperfections, leaves skin looking firm, hydrated, and radiant all over. It's lightweight, silky texture, is instantly absorbed, leaves Leaving behind a delicate citrus scent and enhanced clarity. It's $95 for five ounces. That's too rich for my blood, friends. Apparently, I can't afford to have nice skin. I, like, I literally can't afford it. Um, L'Oreal Makeup have released a limited edition Glitter Fever liner. Uh, they apparently released it last year for the holiday season and it looks like they're releasing some more some so with some additional shades um they look really pretty and it does look like although they said it's a liner you could also use it as just like a really glittery eyeshadow and I mean L'Oreal are very very affordable and generally their formulas seem to be pretty good as far as I know, I don't think they're cruelty free. So if that's important to you, keep that in mind. Um, Dermalogica have also come out with a new serum. Um, it's going to be available on August 30th. They say it's their most advanced dual phase serum, which combines highly active um, botanicals with biomimetic uh, technology sounds fancy, to reduce visible signs of skin aging and reactivate the nature of younger looking skin. This two-in-one lifting firming serum works instantly and over time. So there's no information as to how much it would cost. <laughs> it can't be as much as the Tom Ford $450 one, but you know, you never know. 
Um, Rebel Rogue Labs have also released um, the second volume of their Immortal Matte Lipsticks. They look really, really interesting, but I am not brave enough to wear those lip colours. Um, I just, I'd buy them and then they'd just be in a drawer and that's sad, so not, not for me. About bloody time, Benefit Cosmetics have announced that they are going to be making the highlighters Tickle and Cookie into single pans, like single available, whatever the word is. About time, about time, because they have been in those new um, kind of cheek palettes that they released not that long ago and I was backwards and forwards as to whether I wanted to get them because I wanted the shades Tickle and I wanted the shade Cookie. But I was like, I am not getting more benefit stuff that I have dupes and dupes of. Like, as in, I have so many hula bronzers and whatever that is just there from their five million sets. So I'm so glad they're actually doing this. Um, they say that they're going to be $30 on Benefit Cosmetics online. And they just, they look so pretty. Cookie is this champagne sort of... Um, color and they, it's going to be back as an individual highlighter and Tickle is this golden pink glow. I want both. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. I love a nice highlighter. Um, Coloured Rain have given a reveal of their new collaboration with Power Stars. Excuse me, that was my phone. Um, and their collaboration is launching Tuesday, August 20th at 4pm uh, Pacific Standard Time. So that'll be tomorrow once I get it up. Yes. Um, yeah, there's nothing interesting about this for me, so I would quite comfortably pass on that. Um, Makeup Obsession, which is like one of the branches of Makeup Revolution, it's so hard to keep a track of. They have come out with a new London's Calling eyeshadow palette. Um, it's available for six pounds, six euro ninety nine, nine US dollars, or twelve Australian dollars on Revolution Beauty's website. Um, nothing really interesting there to me. I'm not a huge fan of Revolution Beauty, so we can move on. Please forgive me, but they announced a huge amount of holiday releases. I And by holiday releases, I mean Christmas releases, which is insane. I'm going to run through these really, really quickly because I don't want to spend a lot of time on them because I'm like, it's August, this is insane. But just in case some people are watching and they're hugely into the Christmas spirit, this is for you. This is just for you. Um, so Too Faced have um, announced that they're going to come out with a Christmas star palette. The packaging looks really, really interesting, but the shades, as per usual, with their Christmas line doesn't look wildly interesting. Uh, Smashbox Cosmetics have come out with a primer water duo in Fire and Air for $20 for Christmas. Benefit Cosmetics have come out with yet another holiday set and it seems to have just a lot of their standard things like their hula bronzer, Kelsey Paris, um, the Bad Gal Bang mascara, which is very good. I do like that. A brow product and their Pore Professional. No major surprise there. Um, Makeup Revolution are releasing two different eyeshadow palettes. They're going to be $20 each. One is a more kind of a cool nude tone and one is more warm toned. Um, Peter Thomas Roth also has a holiday set. It looks to be like a lot of skincare type things. Uh, Stila also have a holiday set coming out. It seems to be I think a, a lipstick or a liquid lipstick. It's hard to tell. I don't know. Um, Kylie Cosmetics have come out with more stuff um, for the holidays. They are going to release a mini liquid lipstick set for $12. Uh, um, yeah, obviously not for me. And this is it. This is the last thing. It Cosmetics are coming out with a holiday palette for $42. It seems to be an eye and face palette. And they also are bringing back their Superstar brush, which I know a lot of people were really fond of. That is it. That is everything that was announced in the last week. Sorry for the addition of the, the holiday stuff, but I figure some people will want to hear about it. Let me know if there was anything that you were interested in. Um, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, whatever it is that you feel like doing. And enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.